now keeping this program unchanged i want to write the next program i have not touched the editor i have not done any changes to this previous program uh, the program that is present over here is a program to add all the numbers from 1 to n now the next program that we intend to write is to add all the numbers starting from starting from 1 to the nth term now nth term means sorry nth term now what does that mean it means i have to write a program which will start from 1 and go up to this nth term now the nth term and n is all almost the same now the program is different because over here I will have to get rid of the numbers in between that is I will have to write 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus dot 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 up to the nth term I think you understand this sorry nth term so I think you understand this the idea is write a program to add all numbers starting from 1 to the nth term so instead of writing all numbers let me write all odd numbers now is it clear the program statement very simple a program to add all odd numbers starting from 1 to the nth term so 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus dot 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 up to the nth term now if i really ask you then what is this nth term see carefully have a look into it this is 1 1 is the first term is not it so the first term is 1 now then what is this 3 what is this 3 this is the second term now second term second term can I say it is 2 into 2 minus 1 4 second term so if I again go to the next line just to have a look into it this second term can I write like this 2 into 2 minus 1th term do you understand what I mean to say I mean to say the second term is 3 3 is 2 into 2 minus 1 so 2 into 2 minus 1 not 12 sorry 2 into 2 minus 1 this is 3 so is not so check out what what I am trying to say plus 5 so 5 what term is it it is the third term is not so third term means what how can you write third term is 5 now can I write it is 2 into 3 minus 1 what is that 2 into 3 is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 similarly 7 7 is the fourth term is not so 7 is the fourth term so can we say 7 is nothing but 2 into 4 minus 1 not 2 is 4 2 into 4 2 into 4 minus 1 now you check out what first term that also is 2 into 1 sorry sorry 2 into 1 minus 1 is not it so will you agree with me 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1 now what do you notice over here when this is the first term when this is the first term this is 1 when this is the second term this is 2 
when this is the third term this is 3 when this is the fourth term this is 4 so on if this is the nth term will not it be plus 2 into n minus 1 do you agree with me so the last term is nothing but 2n minus 1 2 into n minus 1 so that means this time my loop should continue till this i that we used in the previous program reaches 2n minus 1. So here the sum that I intend to do is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus up to 2 into n minus 1. So, this i, i that we used in the previous program if you remember, i started with 1, i incremented by 1 and become, become 2 over here, I want i to become 3, I want i to become 5 next time, I want i to become 7 next time and so on to continue up to 2n minus 1. But the sum if I start with the program, this should remain the same, enter the last number n. Instead of wanting the last number n, I can say enter the last term number n, up to which you want to add. And I scan this n. So, this n, this n has been scanned. So, how long should this i continue? This i should start with 1 in the first loop. Second time in the loop, what should i become? i should become 3 to add 3. The third time in the loop, i should become 5. Fourth time in the loop, i should become 7 and so on. Nth time in the loop, i should become what? 2n minus 1. What I mean to say is, First time in the loop, i is 1. Second time, i is 3. Third time, i is 5. Fourth time, i is 7. Because i is in, i should increment by 2 every time this. This time it should increment by 2. And last time, i should become 2n minus 1. So, how long should I continue this loop? Sum should be starting with 0. You check out what? Sum should again be starting with 0. I am starting this sum with 0 i should be starting from how much i should st be starting from 1 but here how long should i continue till i reaches the value of 2 into n minus 1 so i should be less than equal to 2n minus 1 so i should continue up to a value of 2n minus 1 is not it so so sum should be added i should be added to this sum as usual because initially i is 1, this 1 has to be added to sum. But second time in the loop, 3 should be added. So, i should be incremented not by 1 but by 2. Then it should go back to the loop again and then again i should be added. Then again i should be incremented by 2. This should complete your program, no other changes in the program. If you carefully look at it, i should every time be incremented by 2. So, when it enters the loop in the first time, i is 1. When it enters in the loop for the second time, i should be incremented by 2 and become 3. Third time it loops, i incremented by 2 becomes 5. Fourth time in the loop, i incremented by 2 becomes 7 because I have incremented i by 2. And every time this i, whatever is the value of i, either 1 first time or 3 second time or 5 third time or 7 fourth time, this i should be added to this sum. Is not it so? And how long should this i be continued till i reaches a value of 2 into n minus 1? So, this should give you the program output, your intended output. So, so the sum of sum of all odd numbers from 1 to the nth term instead of nth term I write percent dth term is percent d the nth term this n should replace this percent d 
So this nth term is percent d and what is the sum? The sum in some variable contains the sum. So this is the program. I think you understand this program. Should I explain this once more? Very quickly, only this part. i is initialized to 1. So this is i. So every time in the loops, i is added to this sum. So this 1 first time has been added to sum. So sum becomes 1 initially because sum was initialized to 0. So first time in this loop, this 1 has been added to sum. But see, i has been incremented by 2. So second time when it enters the loop, i assumes the value of 3. So next time in the loop, sum equal to sum plus i basically means 3 has been added to sum. Next time when it goes to the loop, i is again incremented by 2. So i assumes the value of 5. So what has been added to sum? Sum is equal to sum plus i means 5 has been added to sum. So in this way, 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on will keep on, keep on getting added to sum to give you the final value. And how long should this continue? Till i in this way, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 reaches the value of 2 into n minus 1. So i, the last value i should have is 2 into n minus 1. So can I say instead of writing less than equal to 2 into n minus 1, I can write less than 2n. Continuing up to 2n minus 1 is same as continuing up to less than 2n. It's absolutely the same thing. So let me run this program now. Alt R, enter, say 3 numbers. That means I have given 3. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 should give you 9. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 5, 9. Let me run the program again, say up to 5, 5 numbers, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 7, 16, 16 plus 9, 25, it's 25. So one more number, 6 term, 11 would have been added, check out 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So 1 plus 3, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 7, 16 plus 9, 25 plus 11, 36. So if I, instead of 5, give 6 numbers, the answer will be 36. Doesn't matter how long a number you give, still the output will be there. So I believe you have understood this program. So once you have understood this program, I will give you some interesting things, some interesting syntaxes I will teach you. Like i is equal to i plus 2. Believe me in C, this can be written in another way. i is equal to i plus 2 can be written like i plus is equal to 2. Hardly matters. That is instead of writing i equal to i plus 2, you could have written i plus equal to 2. Doesn't matter. So if i equal to i plus 2 can be written as i plus equal to. See, if you ask me what is the advantage of writing it like this, no advantage at all. There is hardly any advantage. It is just a method which can be done. So I have taught you because in many books, if you learn from learn C from books, you will find in those books I equal to instead of writing I equal to I plus 2, they have written I plus equal to 2. So similarly, if I equal to I plus 2 can be written as I plus equal to 2, sum equal to sum plus I can also be written as, as definitely sum equal to sum plus i can be written as sum plus equal to i. It's the same thing. So similarly, you remember in my last program, I had written i is equal to i plus 1. I had added i by 1. What could, have, what could you have changed it to? Instead of writing i equal to i plus 1, you could have written i plus is equal to 1. Now, again an interesting thing, when this is 1, that is when you are incrementing i by 1, you can write i plus equal to 1, but again there can be another way of writing. You know what is that? The other way of writing is i plus plus. Check out what I mean to say. I mean to say i equal to i plus 1 can be, or, or let me start from here, i equal to i plus 2 can be written as i plus equal to 2. Similarly, sum equal to sum plus i 
can be written as sum plus equal to i. Similarly, if this was i equal to i plus 3, you could have written it as i plus equal to 3, this one. But i equal to i plus 1 similarly can be written as i plus equal to 1. And if it is 1, that is if it is incrementing by 1, you can write it as i plus plus. Now, not only this, if say it is, 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 it is i equal to i minus 3, how can you write it? Similarly, this time you can write it as i minus equal to 3. Similarly, if it is i equal to i minus 2, you can write it as i minus equal to 2. If it is equal to i minus i equal to i minus 1, then you can write it as i minus equal to 1. Again, if it is 1, then specially it can also be written as i minus minus. However, this works for plus, this syntax works for plus, this syntax works for minus, this does not work for multiplication or division, we generally do not use this method or it generally does not work that way also, it is not written. It may work depending on different compilers, but it is not used. It is generally written as i equal to i into 3 if you want to multiply. However, if it is minus or plus, then you can definitely use this like i equal to i minus 2 can be used i minus equal to 2, i equal to i minus 3 we can write i minus equal to 3. Check out. If it is i equal to i minus 1, you can write i minus equal to 1. But if it is 1 specially, then again it can be written i minus minus. I think you have understood this. This is absolutely correct, clear. Like this, sum equal to sum plus i could be written as sum plus equal to i. However, had this been sum, sum equal to sum plus 1, then you could have also written as written it as sum plus plus. Hardly matters. Over here, I have written i, so you can write sum plus equal to i. If you feel it is not good, if you don't like this syntax, doesn't matter. You use this syntax only. Nobody will stop you. However, this is this the one I have taught is a standard syntax of C also. So I think you have understood this program. This program is absolutely clear for all of you. You can take a bit of break, and as we will come back. We will start again exactly from this program.